Hello there! Today on Sesame Street, we are going to hear lots of... <laughs> Have you ever heard a song that makes you want to dance? Or perhaps a lullaby that puts your cute little eyes to sleep? That is the power of... Music. <laughs> so what do you say? Let's go to Sesame Street and listen to some... Oh, I should have seen that coming. As a proud sponsor of Sesame Street, we here at Beaches Resorts understand and appreciate the importance of helping children develop good mental health and overall wellness. Some music a grouch can listen to. <laughs> oh, boy, that sounded terrible. Yeah, Elmo thinks maybe Abby wasn't playing it right. Huh? What? <laughs> are you sure about that, best friend? Because from over here, it sounded like uh, you weren't the one playing it right. <laughs> well, Elmo's played Twinkle Twinkle lots of times, so <laughs> Elmo didn't mess up, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. Didn't mess up either, best friend. Uh, Elmo thinks maybe you did. I did not. Oh, well, maybe you did. No, maybe I didn't. I've been playing too. Yeah. I used a lot. Hey. It was hard. Terrible music and and arguing. This may be the best band oh, ever. Well, well, my mommy used to sing it to me. Oh, 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 guys, 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 pretty cool. Well, it didn't sound cool. Yeah, it sounded terrible when we played together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let me hear it and maybe I can help you figure out the problem. Oh, yeah. sure. Okay. okay. Okay, but it's not gonna be pretty. <sighs> Wow. Um, a uh, uh, good try. Yeah. But um, I think I figured out what the problem is. Yeah, you guys have a tempo problem. Huh? Tempo what now? <laughs> tempo. It's how fast or how slow you play music. Oh. Hey, Abby, let me hear you play. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. OK, 
Okay, so was that tempo fast or slow? Hmm? Well, um, Elmo thinks that that was a slow tempo. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, Elmo, let me hear you play. Oh, sure. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Elmo wonders what you want. Was that tempo fast or slow? Fast! Elmo plays too fast, and Abby plays too slow. Boy. Looks like the best friend, Ben, has to break up. Piano mover, Grovo! I am on the job! Yeah. <laughs> Come on for a second. You don't have to quit the band or break up the band. You just have to stop and think of a way to compromise. What's a compromise? Yeah. A compromise is when you both change a little until you're both happy with the way you play together. Oh, okay. Well, well maybe Elmo can compromise and play a little slower. Oh, and, and maybe I can compromise and play a little faster. Oh, okay. See, that sounds like a great compromise. It's a perfectly bad music. <laughs> oh. Great work, best friend band. Hey, just keep on rocking. See ya. All right, best friend. <laughs> what should the best friend band play next? Um, let's see. Oh, oh, how about the alphabet song, best friend? Oh, great idea, best friend. and maybe we can figure out what the problem is. Okay, I see what the problem is. You guys have a dynamics problem. What is dynamics? Dynamics are how loudly or how softly you play music. Uh, Elmo, let me hear you play. Sure, Chris. Here you go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You see? Okay, so was Elmo playing loudly or softly? Um, softly. Definitely softly. Uh-huh. Okay, so Abby, let me hear something from you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, so how about Abby's <laughs> dynamics? Loud or soft? Loud! Defi definitely loud. <laughs> Elmo plays soft and I play loud. The best friend Ben has got to break up. Piano mover, growler. Wait, wait. D sorry, d just false alarm. <sighs> guys, guys, you don't have to break up the band when you don't agree with each other. Just, you have to stop and think of another compromise. Oh. Hey, hey maybe I can play. Softer. Oh, and I'm gonna play louder. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> Let's do this, best friend. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now on my nose is A B C. Next time, won't you sing it, Elmo? <laughs> Hey! Great job compromising, guys! Thanks, Chris! <laughs> you got it! So, how about a little old McDonald, best friend? Uh, I don't want to play Elmo's song, best friend. Yeah, but I really kind of want to play old McDonald, best friend. But Elmo doesn't want to sing old McDonald, best friend. Elmo wants to sing Elmo's song. Yeah, but best friend, I would no, no, no. really like to sing old McDonald, best friend. No, I'm just really... Elmo's oh, song. Wait, okay, song. that's it! The best friend band is... It's breaking up! Fine. Are you 
sure. Yes. All right. Here, because this thing is kind of heavy, you know. Bye, best friend. Elmo doesn't want to break up the best friend band. Well, neither do I, Elmo. But what are we going to do? Well, maybe we should stop and think of a compromise. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's take turns. First, we'll do Abby's song, and then we'll do Elmo's song. That's a great idea, Elmo. And then maybe we can mix the songs together. Ooh, let's try that. <laughs> Piano Motor Growl! Yeah, I knew this was coming. <laughs> Are you ready, best friend? Ready, best friend. Madden, 
Yes. Can I ask you a question? Of course. What happens here at music school? Kids learn to sing and they learn to play instruments. Wait a minute. Is singing music? Sure it well, is. What kind of instrument do you use to sing? Your voice. There was a boy who had a dog. Dingo was his name. Oh, You can make music with all the instruments of the orchestra. How you make sound? You go in here, mm -hmm. it comes out down here. Good. Oh man, there's so much to learn here at music school. <laughs> well, what kind of instrument is a violin? It's a stringed instrument. Yeah. String? There are strings on that thing? Let me see the strings, Dominique. Oh, look at that. There are strings. How do you play it? Well, you have to learn how to hold the instrument. OK, how's that? Do that I look looks good? very good. Thank you. Then we learn how to maneuver your fingers on the strings. Hey, Marcus. Yeah. What do you teach here at music school? I teach piano. How do you teach piano? I have to teach the students first how to use their fingers, because that's how we make the sound. I know how to make, use my fingers. Look. Well, oh. Was that not right? Well, you're making the sound, but we want to make it musical. <laughs> so this is what note? A. OK, and this is A. And then we go B, right? C, D, D E, F, G. Hey, Kamani. Well, what do you play at music school? Well, I play the flute. It's a wind instrument. Wow, Kimani, that was the most beautiful flute playing I ever heard. Thank you. <laughs> I love music school. Whoa, that sheep sure can play music. Musica! See you next time at school. Escuela! Bye-bye. Adios. <laughs> it's time to get up and stomp your feet. Do this great foot stomping Transylvanian beat. Start nice and slow. One, two. Then speed up more. One, two, three, four. Then stomp away. One, Cause two, we're about three, to four, find out one, the number of the so day. What's the number? Stop, stop. What's the number? Stop, stop. What is the number? The number of the day scheduled to arrive. The number of the day is five. So that's the number. Stop, stop. Yes, that's That's the number of the day! Five! Now let's stomp five times! One, two, three, four, five! Ah, ah, ah! Happy to see you? Oh, and so is Dorothy. Say hello, Dorothy. Guess what Elmo's thinking about today? Look at the dog! Wow! Listen to that! Well, that sounds like... Okay. How do you hold a violin 
Noodle. Mr. Noodle! Show us how, Mr. Noodle. You think he knows? I don't know. Mr. Noodle! No, not like that. That's dancing. Yeah, that's, that's very nice dancing, but that's not the answer, Mr. Noodle. No. Not like that. Just slide it over a little towards your ear. Yeah, over there. Not that far. <laughs> Too far, Mr. Noodle. Slide it back towards your mouth. Yeah, keep trying, Mr. Noodle. Woof, 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 woof. There. Yay. Yay. You got it. That's how you hold a violin when you play it. Yay, Mr. Noodle. Now, all you need is a bow. A bow. A bow. Yep. <laughs> no, not that kind of bow. It's very pretty, but you need a violin bow. You need that to play a violin. Yeah, that's it. Yay, that's it. That's a violin bow, Mr. Noodle. Use that to play the violin. Oh, that's a bow, Mr. Noodle. Noodle. Oh. Dorothy wants to ask someone else, how do you hold a violin when you play? Hi, Dorothy. This is my violin. This is the neck. And these are the strings. And this is the chin rest. Dorothy, this is my violin, and this is how I play it. See, it's a musical instrument that has strings, and I love to play it. You play that? How? Well, you move the bow over the strings, and the violin makes music. <laughs> that sounds like magic. Not really. I'll show you. Okay. Played, and if you practice a lot. Now, all I know is my trick. What's your trick? Oh, uh, it's this. <clears throat> Frumpkin, Tumpkin, Ibbity Abbity Pumpkin! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Miri, can you play the pumpkin? I think I can. Let me try. <laughs> hey, uh, bye, Elmo. Bye, Elmo. <laughs> Who could that be? Hey, kid. Ah. How would you like to talk to a violin? <laughs> and a bow. You can play all kinds of music on the violin. Really? Oh, look, 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 look. Dorothy's imagining Elmo playing jazz music on the violin. Play that on the fiddle. Another name for the violin. Elmo's gonna play the violin song on the violin. Surprise! <laughs>
Goodbye. Take my bow, please. <laughs> Valentine for you. Oh. Oh, thank you, Bathtub. On Valentine's Day, you give cards to your friends to show them you love them. Let's celebrate Valentine's Day on Sesame Street! Sorry oh. if it's a little wet. That's okay, Bathtub. <laughs> Valentine better not be for me. No, Oscar. Elmo made this for Abby to show how much he cares about her. Well, I don't want anything to do with this yucky, lovey dovey day. There's nothing that makes me grouchier. Well, don't you worry, Oscar. Elmo knows grouches don't like Valentine's Day. Oh, and everybody said they would leave Oscar alone this year. Really? No one's gonna give me any Valentine's? Nope. Happy. No Valentine's Day. <laughs> Bye, Oscar. <laughs> it could be a happy one after all. <laughs> <laughs> and that should do it. <laughs> wow, these heart cookies look fantastic, Abby. You know, Elmo is going to love them. Oh, I sure hope so, Alan. I've never baked cookies without magic before. <laughs> and I really want to give Elmo something special for Valentine's Day. Well, you know what? You did a great job. Now they just need to bake for a little bit. But, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Boy, Elmo can't wait to give his card to Abby. <laughs> Oh, 
no. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, boy. Special Valentine delivery! I knew it. I knew someone would ruin my day and send me a mushy valentine. Oh, well, actually, this delivery is for Slimy. Slimy? And it is the teeniest, tiniest, valentiniest of all. Yay! You don't have any cards for me? Oh, no, Oscar, I am sorry, I do not. Well, good. I didn't want a yucky valentine anyway. <laughs> You cannot win with a grouch. Robert, Robert, have you seen a valentine card anywhere? I have seen many. I get to deliver cards of love all day long. Oh, yes, okay, but I'm always looking for a special card. Or it's got pretty paper and it's shaped like a heart. It's pink and red. Mm, no, I have not seen a card like that. Except for the one that the little puppy had in its mouth. What? The puppy has it? Where? Why, I do not know that. It ran away. Okay, we almost got to go find him, Grover. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. You're welcome. Always happy to help, little Elmo. Hey, Alan. Yeah. I'm just checking to see if Elmo's Valentine cookies are ready. Oh, you know, not yet, Abby. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Abby, it's going to be a few more minutes, all right? Oh, Just need a little patience. Okay. Baking cookies without magic sure takes a long time. <laughs> I'll be back later. All right. Uh, Bye. Oh, Alan. Oh, hey. Alan, hi. Oh, has Alan seen a little puppy anywhere? As a matter of fact. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. There is Abby's special oh. day time. Oh, let's get it. All right. Hey. Come here, boy. Good boy. Come on. Give me the card. Give me the card, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Hey. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh. Come on. Come on. Let's go get him. Okay. Oh, no. Get boy. Get boy. Here, puppy. Here, puppy, puppy. Here, puppy. I didn't see him anyway. I know that either. Whoa. There he is. Oh. Oh. That was a close one. Whoa. Not the word, not the big word! Oh, sorry. No worries! Happy! Oh, yeah, boy! Come here, Pa. Wait a minute, Alan. Uh -huh. Elmo has an idea. Oh. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Fetch, boy! So bad. Oh, Elmo? Yes, it is, Alan. It's got bite marks and uh, drool. It's all ripped. Boy, Elmo can't give it to Abby like this. Oh, wait. Sure, you can. No, it's ruined, Alan. I know you're upset, but Valentine's Day is really about caring for other people. <laughs> hey, do you smell something burning? <gasps> the cookies! Yes, something's wrong. This has been the worst Valentine's Day ever. Well, I thought everyone left you alone. They did. I got no cards, no yucky hugs, no mushy talk of love at all. I still don't understand what's wrong. I have nothing to be grouchy about. And I like being grouchy. Valentine's Day was my grouchiest day of the year. And now, it's ruined. Well, maybe... Ta-da! This... Help. Eh? A valentine? Uh, for me? Mm-hmm. Oh. To the greatest grouch I know. Love. Slimy? Yeah. Slimy, is this from you? Mm-hmm. Thanks. You knew just what to do to make me feel grouchy again. Yeah. You could learn a thing or two from this worm. <laughs> Abby, um, there was a problem with the cookies. <gasps> They're burnt. I got so busy chasing a dog that I forgot all about them. Oh, but it was so hard to make those Valentine's cookies without using magic, and I wanted them to be perfect for Elmo. Wait a minute. <gasps> Abby made Valentine's cookies for Elmo? Uh, no, 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 don't look, Elmo. I mean, they're... Tell 
They really made me laugh. Aww, they really are, Elmo. Yeah. <laughs> and when something's made with love, a true friend can always see that. Yeah. Uh, Abby? Huh? Well, Elmo has something for you, too. <sighs> Elmo, your card is... <gasps> Preview has been rated SC for self control. Coming soon, the sequel you've been hungering for Twilight Breaking Cookie. Short Bretward was a yumpire with a cookie thirst. He couldn't control, and Belly was the girl who loved him. I love you, Short Bretward. Cookie thirst! Um, um, cookie thirst! Oh, no. Bacup was the wolf who loved Belly and who also loved to bake cookies. He was baking when he got the news. Is it true, Belly? You're going to marry Short Breadward? I love him. But he's a yum pyre. He has the cookie thirst. He can't control himself. He'll eat all your cookies. I love him. Why don't you marry me? I baked these cookies just for you. Cookies! Those cookies were for Belly! Oh, me so sorry, but me have cookie thirst. Me no can control myself. Me have to have cookies. They delicious, by the way. Yeah. Cookie thirst! Oh, oh, you should learn oh, to control oh, yourself. But how? You need a strategy. You need to stop. Do something to take your mind off cookies. Okay, like what? Well, how about some exercise? You can run around or ride your bike. Oh, you know what? You right, Bacob. Yeah, me try that. Good. Me do it for Belly. Here, Belly, I made you some <gasps> more cookies. Cookies! To the ones ah, stop! Me try exercise strategy. Come on, Belly, let's go for fly. <laughs> ah, take me mind off cookies. It's a umpire thing. I love you, Short Breadward. Unfortunately, Short Breadward couldn't fly forever. <laughs> cookies! Ah, nom, nom. Oh, no. oh, stop! What me doing? Me need another exercise strategy, like running around or riding me bike, or... Short Breadward, are you okay? Oh, yeah, me love jumping down waterfalls. It's a umpire thing, yeah. And it helped me not even think about eating cookies. Oh, cookie thirst, a powerful thing. He'll never change, Belly. If you marry that umpire, you'll never get any cookies. What kind of life is that? That's it, Short Breadward. If you want to marry me, you're going to have to control yourself. It's me or my cookies. Me do want to marry you, Belly. Me can control me, cookie thirst me, no me can. And so Short Breadward used all his powers of self-control for the hardest yumpire challenge of all. Chocolate chip cookies <gasps> with 
Extra chips. Extra chips? It was all oh. Short Redward could do to stop himself from eating the cookies. He gave himself a good talking to. Hey, that good idea. New strategy. Me stop and me talk myself through this. Okay, me love cookies, but me love belly more. Yeah. Me love cookies, but me love belly more. Me love cookies, but uh, uh, me love belly more. <gasps> me did it. Oh boy, oh boy. Me control myself and me no eat cookies. Not even teensy crumb. Belly, will you marry me? <gasps> yes, short breadward. I will marry you. I love you, short breadward. <laughs> And so, Belly and Short Breadward were married. I baked you a cookie wedding cake. <gasps> I love... Yes? Cookies! <laughs> she's turned! <laughs> now she's a young fire, just like you. Belly, you have to learn to control you cookie thirst. See Twilight Breaking Cookie, coming soon to a cookie-plex cinema near you. It's time to get up. And stomp your feet. Do this great foot stomping Transylvanian beat. Start nice and slow. One, two. Then speed up more. One, two, three, four. Then stomp away. One, Cause two, we're about three, to find four, out one. the number of the so day. What's the number? Stop, stop. What's the number? Stop, stop. What is the number? The number of the day. Ah. Where's my tambourine? The ah. number of the day is. Fourteen. So that's the number. Stop, stop. Yes, that's the number. Stop, stop. That's the number. Stop, stop. The number of the day. That's the, the number. number. Stop, stop. That's the number of the day. Fourteen. Now let's stomp fourteen times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen! Ah, ah, ah! Do 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 Imagine a story! Squeeze the acha! Imagine a song! Waddly woo! Papa is next! You'll never know! It's all about the musical! All about the musical! Let's get over the show! Come on! Let's imagine we're airplane pilots! Hey! Good imagining, co-pilot. Now our story begins with someone who needs to fly. But where is she? Uh, 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 I need to fly fast. Oh, where does Miss Penguin need to fly in such a hurry? Let me tell you.
but how about this beautiful pendant? I'll take it. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? This penguin said she needs a ring, and a ring is a circle. But that pendant has three sides and three angles, so it's a triangle. Oh, sorry. Deal's off. Well, I'm afraid I have no circles. Now, if you'll please excuse me, it's breakfast time. Oh, wait! D That's a circle! I'll take it! Wait, do you mean to tell me you want to use a bagel as your wedding ring? Well, it's a circle, mm -hmm. isn't it? Suit mm -hmm. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So how much time do we have? Well, let's see. Uh, uh, it's eight o'clock, so we have one, two, three. Three hours left until eleven. Well, come on, let's fly. Okay, after you. <laughs>
wanna move your body and use your mind Cause you know you are growing all the time You're getting smarter, stronger, kinder On Sesame Street Find at home and when you play Try some sharing and caring every day You're